Greetings and salutations, this is Pandora the Ecliptic. Making sure you can't see behind me, because I really do my best not to. You know, Pandora the Ecliptic. Also known as Pandora the Ecliptic one on SoundCloud. Don't believe me, check the link below along with all the other links and stuff like that. And anywhere where social media is relevant. I believe I'm Rula Lucine Burton on Facebook and Nathan, if you think about following me there, I already have two friends who will be more than happy to kick your white boy ass. So don't even try. Sorry, folks. I've had them follow me all in all of my videos lately, and he's been getting on my last kind of picket nerve, so I'm just bringing it up in this video. But considering now, you know what his name is, and you know what kind of person he is, I think that I'll probably bring him to a halt. Hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, today, as you know, is Anti-Feminist Friday! And today, we will be Feminbastin... Feminbastin... Don't think we want to use that word. But, um... Basically, we're going to be bashing Lacey Gray, okay? Let's answer why I'm a feminist. And as you know, it has the gasp thing. Lots of people have done it before. I decided to do it because why not? And at least maybe I can explain why I am an anti-feminist. That's I don't think it'll get everything across to you people, but, you know, good place to start, I guess. Anyways, let us begin. The rumors are true. What they've been saying about me? I have to come clean. I, Lacey Green, am a feminist. What? Oh. You're a lesbian girl? Yes, because we're all shocked that you're a feminist, Lacey. Yes, there's tons of people who are just, <gasps> they slap that you're a feminist. Trust me, sweet, I probably got more of a negative reaction when I told my maternal, my uh, mother and some of my friends, and said, I am an MRA. Okay? Get more of a negative response from them because, well, in their opinion, they think I should be more of a like gender egalitarian, which I am. I am definitely a gender egalitarian at heart. Meaning, yes, I do this because at heart of it all, yes, I would like both genders to be equal, so anytime I see people out there who are not treating one or the other gender fairly, I'm going to probably more like, and especially if I know that there might just be a bit of an issue, like there's an amount of certain people who are not being treated fairly versus another, I might defend the side that's not being treated fairly more. Alright, that's getting treated less fairly than the other. And Yes, I went with MRA for this reason. But anyways, continue on. Oh, shit. Okay, those are just stereotypes. I think that feminism is both kick-ass and super important. And here... Okay. She uses, um... She gives the definition for feminism, which really is not correct. It's more egalitarian. But let me read it off to you. Feminism. Noun. A social movement for gender equality and sex equality. Okay. Also, let's tack on to that for women. And also, a personal commitment to understanding and achieving gender equality in everyday life. Yeah. Because when I look up gender, look up feminism, that's what it says. 
yeah, and let's see. Let's hit, let's hit, hit Wikipedia, which is why I get subscribed to most people. Look at, and let's put on the good old, uh, Glasses, and let's read what it actually is. Feminism is a collection of movements and ideologies that share a common goal to define, establish, and achieve equal political, economic, cultural, personal, and social rights for, you guessed it, I want you to guess what the word is before you yeah, actually uh, say it aloud to everyone around you. Think about it. You got it? Okay, good. Um, yeah, it means for women. Yeah. So, no, Lacey, your definition up there ain't gonna fly. Are a few of my reasons why. I'm a feminist because girls are taught in public school that once she has sex, she'll lose a part of herself. Because women have a lot of sex or sluts while guys are stuck. Yes. Yes, Lacey. Despite the fact I went to an all Catholic school and they taught us about sex, yes, they taught us about that sex. Now they, they separated us and put us in separate rooms and all that shit. But it didn't stop us from looking up about sex if we want to. We, you know, we, other than, you know, they censored it so we weren't looking at certain inappropriate things because there were kids who did that. However, um, yeah. They're not stopping you from. Yeah, they didn't teach me anything like that. They just taught me that. Birds and the bees. Okay? That is about eggs. They taught us about sperm and how you get a zygote and how a zygote becomes a fetus and the fetus becomes a baby and how a woman produces a child. That is all, motherfucker. Okay? No. Just fucking no. Amanda Todd, Felicia Garcia, Sharice Morales, because of the sexism that drove them to end their lives. Um, now, would I say that was sexism? I think one of those, that one of the pictures she shows in the video, uh, talks about football players. Yeah, she's the Stoibenville, yeah, Stoibenville, yeah, Jersey action there. I don't live anywhere near Jersey, but... <laughs> God damn, I have tons of people. Oh, I probably do. Uh, I probably watched enough stuff involving Jersey that now I'm starting to talk like a Jersey. Hey. However, um, no, it was sexism that caused it. What really caused it, it was, yes, the football players all getting drunk and having, you know, forcing this poor little girl to get drunk too, which. You know, she was 16. She really shouldn't have been drinking in the first place, and neither, neither should the football team either. So, yeah. That was already in the wrong. However, that's not sexism. That's called being a stupid, being a bunch of really stupid teenagers, making a mistake that could have ended your life. Yeah. Not a good idea. And heck, there are grown adults who shouldn't be drinking as much as they probably drink. Think, okay? And yes, the boy came from other people as well as other girls did it. Because, you know, I hate to tell you this, there are some women who get jealous that some other girls are having more sex than them. Because, I hate to say this, in the perception of some people who might raise these children, we think having sex makes you an adult. It doesn't. It really doesn't. You're the same person when you were having sex, but you know that's an argument. That's a conversation for another day. Okay. It really is, but you know, people like this. 
Sorry. But if I was told the first time I had sex would be painful and bloody, I was terrified. Because what if... Okay. First of all, the person who told you that, when did they have sex? Did they have sex on their period? Because you shouldn't be having blood coming out of that area. And if you are, well, um... How big was his? Is like when you were doing it. Anyways. And this is coming from a virgin. A virgin. So, no. Also, if they were doing that, they were probably just warning you. Because it might have happened to them. So they were just warning you to make sure you yeah, didn't have it happen to you. And all that stuff. That's all they were doing. They weren't trying to, um... They weren't trying to scare you away from having sex. That was not the intent, I think. But whatever. Four young women is assaulted and society still asks, what was she wearing? Because male victims of rape... Yes. Because... Whenever that comes up, that's the first fucking thing I thought my people I know bring up. Yes. Exactly. That, that, that's exactly what they think, Lacey. Mm hmm Yeah. No, uh, see, my parents had this conversation well before, it, when I was, well, when I was at least two or so, if, if I ever happened to me, that my father, and this is where he died and everything, he was going to go kill them. So, none of this, uh, questioning about, you know, that happening would ever be done. So, <laughs> no. And you're gonna bring the whole don't rape bullshit, which it's okay. We've probably tried it enough. It's just as bad. I guess it's the same way as you know we do the abstinence thing. That won't work because you know why? Because when you tell people don't have sex, then you do teenagers. And that you will die, especially when, uh, yeah, you know, like, thousands of those people peripherally the country. Thousands of people peripherally the country. So, someone's gonna be fucking. So, let's do it. Uh, however, with rape here, this is a situation where that requires a certain thing. Like, you do, there, more often than not, it's a mental thing. And those people might have. And a lot of times it happens to be. It's just the statistic that you're giving is kind of over the top. It's really not that common as it used as or ever. I don't know if it's as common as it used to be or ever was. We don't know. It's all. It's usually t factoring in a lot of stuff uh, that's not correct. And if you don't believe me, you can check out, um, I believe Mrs. Summers, the factual feminist. Hey, you probably get along just fine. Hey, I don't think she would agree with everything you say, but hey, at least she's a feminist, so she'd be on the same level with you. No? Actually, she just wouldn't agree with that particular statistic. Anyways, oh god, it's still four minutes. <laughs> Our beliefs since guys want sex all the time anyway, right? Because of catcalling and street harassment, because no, it is not a compliment. Which I'm gonna say Okay. Let's put it this way. Yeah, I've gotten catcalled once in a while. You know what I do with those people? Is I make jokes. Or I make them as com uncomfortable as they made me. If I wanted them to quit making those comments. Trust me. It's not going to lead to rape, and it never has. And trust me, you don't have to think of it as a compliment, but still. My first boyfriend sexually assaulted me, and when I went to my friends for help, they called me a slut. Because when I speak at you... Your friends are jerks. ...universities about the absolute necessity of consent, there are people in the audience who laugh. Well... I'm not shocked or amazed because the stuff that you're asking those poor people to do, which I know I've sat through of those, even though I didn't get the worst of it, I got the, you know, 
voice when she says no, she means no. And they left it at that, thank God. However, I bet if you went up there, I've heard some stuff. Oh God, I think I would just laugh just out of just out absolute amusement. Yeah, because it's like those poor people. Just as painful as I do. And as I feel just having to watch it. So yeah, joy. Because boobs are used to sell everything from burgers to soap. Right, because we never sexualize men in the media. Ever. But don't you dare breastfeed out in the open because this shot Again, that's a nudity thing. And you can probably ask that person to change it and whatever, and the people in charge of it, blah, 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 and then you don't get it. Of course, now she's showing her, you know, underarm. Okay. I'm going to tell you, no, nowhere does it ever say anywhere where you gotta shave your underarms. You know, I probably say for hygienic reasons as well as, um, You don't want to smell bad. Yeah, that's why I shave my underarms. And also, the whole hair thing, that changes every once in a while. And again, men do it too. i sorry, but, you know, there's rarely ever a guy I'm going to ever suck the penis of. And I'm not trying to discriminate against anyone, but who has it? But I would probably say if you want a guy, want a girl to um, suck your penis, you might want to shave it because yeah, no one wants hair in their mouth, and vice versa for guys. We, we they don't want hair in their mouth at all because it's in an area where you know not only do they, you know, do you uh, get the porridge, whatever it is in your mouth you're getting other crud in your mouth you don't want okay so no just thank god almighty hey, for that one but anyways it terrifies people i'm not even kidding you should see some of the looks that i get i'm like i guess because of how much yeah, i actually put on girls to value their appearance above everything else because of ladyplasty boob jobs hymenoplasties let's see for guys uh it's quite common for them to get circumcisions uh shave every day uh, oh and i've known women who rather have a you know no chest haired guy. Also shaving their backs. Um, I'm not quite sure what else they do for us, but you know, for us to find them attractive. But hey, oh yeah, they gotta be muscular. So good lord, they gotta be in a gym every day, just lifting weights and killing themselves so they can be a relative. Thing. Good size for us, so yay. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. They're, uh, little friends gotta be a certain size, you know what I mean, for us to find them attractive. So, yeah, I think we ran the gamut of that. Because our culture considers it normal to cut a part of an infant's penis. And if I'm gonna because me. No, that's not necessarily normal, but in some religious circles, and I believe for a while in Africa, and they did this so they cut down on HIV. Mind you, it's in those areas, it's not everywhere. But yeah, it's not like everyone's going around cutting off that area. In some cases, they do it because of the health reason. It's a health risk thing. Some cases, I do think it's wrong. I think the child should have some say in the matter. Because, well, it's theirs. It, really, I don't think you should be cutting it off. Just be cutting it off. Uh, and, oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> most feminists don't give two shits about this. Because, last time I checked, there were some women who were actually laughing at. This is actually an issue where they laughed at cutting off a guy's 
actual dick. So yeah, trust me, they you think they give a shit about these yeah, really. It was on actual national. it was on national daytime television. Yeah. I don't want this video to get too long, so yeah, then sorry if it is. Only a minute in. No orgasm in the movies is rated PG thirteen, while seeing orgasm Again, nudity thing, because it's just me, but maybe you have to see more to I don't know how they shoot this. And so I I don't know, but still, it's probably more of a nudity thing, not anything else. It's rated R. I'm a feminist because in 2013 there were over 700 bills proposed to regulate a woman's body, and for men, the rightful number zero. I'm a feminist because the police. Yes, zero, because there are no laws at all that say anything about a guy's right to have a child, or when and how and whatever. I mean, they have rights over that child, but, uh, if it's yours, you gotta pay. pay. And you have to start paying, I believe, child support, which is something they do to women, too, but, you know, hey. Political body making decisions about my body is over 80% male. Wow. Because men occupy the top ranks of not just politics, but every industry in the world. Hmm. Right. Mm hmm. Let's see. But there are no female dominated places at all, Lacey? None at all? I'm a feminist because job! Job! Women only hold one in four STEM jobs. We have six Yeah, because a lot of those may not, a lot of those women may not have wanted to run those jobs. Seven TV stations, five percent of executive positions in media. Because when I was younger and I took on a leadership role, all the adults in my life said, "You're being bossy." And let's not forget that. Well, did that ever really run through your mind? That you might be bossy. Because trust me, bitch. If I was in high school and there was some girl who was, you know, annoying the fuck out of me. You know what I called her? I didn't just call her bossy. I called her a bitch. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Think on that. Would you prefer a bitch or bossy? A little pay gap. By the time the average woman reaches 60 years old, she will have made $450,000 less than a man in the same exact position. That's like a fancy-ass house. A truckload. Yes, and let's see, hey, hey, did we ever, um, do research for how she's probably retired and probably earned enough so she can be retired while a guy apparently still has to keep on working and, and God knows when he quits, so yeah. Anyways, great. We're only two friggin' minutes in to this. Load of chocolate bars or ten. And hell, I'm not even surprised by it. At my first job, I learned that my less qualified male coworker was making almost twice as much as me. And the feminist because. And how would you have known that, Lacey? I like to. I like to know, you know, because. I'm sure your, you know, coworker loves the idea that you, uh. Snuck a peek at his paycheck. You know, something that's uh, private and not for you to be uh, looking at. Hmm? The media told me that women are my competition, destroying my friendships with them for almost 20 years. Yes, because no one tells uh, men in the media that they're a competition. Because, yeah, you bring up about. There's men feminists who bring up about how men. Are supposed to fight over women and shit, even though there's probably more than enough women to go around. 
you don't need to be fighting over them. So, yeah. Not saying I don't appreciate guys finding me attractive enough to fight over, but still. Oh. Oh. Anyways. Because gender roles! Because that one place is all my. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure that these uh, gender roles are not just something that's partially biological, something that nature kind of instated in not just us, but just nature in general? Because uh, no matter how you look at it, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some situations where nature kind of goes this way of define, redefining them, but it's not redefining, it's more of going, oh wait, we need to, okay, the females tend to be more stronger, so they're going to defend us. Yay! That's it. Or, the male seahorse, apparently, gives birth to animals, I don't know. You know, I have to make the argument that we're not sure if that actually makes if they're male or female, because now that I think about it, how in the hell do the eggs get made if it's the same way with us? It's with the seahorse, but I'll have to look into it. It's another time. Anyways. Mary, that shoves us into boxes and erases who we are. I'm a feminist because in 10th grade, someone called my best friend a pussy and it tore him up for weeks, and I realized the worst insult was... No offense, but... Wham! Always... I know as an MRA I'm not supposed to do that, but um, most feminists would probably still call that poor guy a pussy and tell him to grow a spine and be a man just as much as uh, masculine as men or men's rights activists or whatever the fuck it is would say to them. <laughs> to be compared to a woman because boys are shamed for being emotionally open. That's a girl thing and womanhood or maybe he was just going, is acting like an idiot, and thought, mm, you know what, I'm going to push my friends to the point, and, uh, just absolute, what the fuckery, and, yeah, so, yeah, he's probably more busted up, because, guess what, um, he thought he could push people farther, I guess, Yes. it's weak, weak, <laughs> Never mind the fact that it was most likely a woman who pushed your body out of her vagina. I'm a feminist because my father... Sweetie, just because our vaginas can squeeze something out doesn't mean that we are emotionally strong, okay? Or mentally strong, because some women are, some women aren't. Some men are, some women are. Some men aren't. That's all it is. And typically, more often, I'd probably say both genders are equally weak and equally strong for a lot of reasons. And I probably would say I use the word bitch to pretty much be anyone who's whiny and trying to get their way without any, without uh, being respectful. Okay? That's why I use it. Never once did the laundry, made dinner, or clean the house. When I suggested he help, my grandpa told me I was out of my damn mind. Wow. Wow. Yeah, doing that double layer effect that you were doing that, eh, don't do that again, please. Please, you got enough auto tune idiots out there, we don't need you to. Anyways, um, yeah, about this one, um, sweetie. Your father probably worked all day. Your grandfather was probably recognizing that and telling you, Are you freaking serious? No. No, 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 no. I can't blame him on that one. Out of my mind, am I taking crazy pills? I'm a feminist because people. I don't know what you want me to say. Seriously, I really don't. Seriously, I have no idea what you want me to say here, but anyways. I still say that asexual, bisexual, and trans folks don't exist. I'm a feminist because same-sex marriage is a no-brainer. I'm not going to say anything here because I am an LGBT supporter and I'm aware of the fact 
that there are people who do not like those people, as well as homophobic, as well as, and there can probably be also heterophobes. There can be any phobes of anything. Hey, because it can also be hatred as well as like. I looked that up. It can exist. It's not impossible. However, but yeah, that's about all I'm gonna say on that. So I can validate that is correct. Because in 34 states, it's legal to discriminate against someone who's transgender. Really? Really? Yes, there's also red states, and they're a bunch of jerks, most of the time, towards everybody. So, it's not just discrimination against them. So, it's two. That's saying it's right, it's just unfortunate unfairness, and they're at least working towards getting rid of that in, that, in those areas, hopefully. But it's because representation, it matters! And LG no, it fucking doesn't! It. The only reason why it matters is so you can get your message across to other people, and that is all, that is really all it's going to do. So basically, it's telling little girls, you want to be a feminist? Go right ahead. We are not going to discriminate against you. That's it. That's saying I can't disagree with that, or I support it either. Okay? I'm not saying if you are a feminist, I hate you. No. I'm just saying in this case, no, it really does not. It's just showing, if it, if it does anything, it might muddy the waters more, it may make things better, or it might just not do anything at all. Like, I support gay marriage because, frankly, I am fed up with the idea that we're even opposed to homosexuality in the first place. It's, we've proven that it is not harmful and letting gay marriage be legal is not going to do anything. However, people like you, there are going to be different factors no matter how you look at it. So, if anything, it doesn't work because there's so many people with different personalities who do whatever they want, whatever they want, whenever they want, blah, blah, blah. So, after a while, it's going to get kind of confusing and just make things worse. Hopefully, we can finally end it all, but yeah. Uh, end most stuff, but it's not gonna end sexism. Yeah. Most of the time, but anyways. We keep those women, and particularly women of color, hardly ever have their stories told on screen. And the feminists, because they believe that the world should be safe for girls everywhere. Because half the girls in Yemen will become child brides. Because 65% of Brazilians believe that a woman. Okay, most of these are issues where. Yes, if you want to go over there and help those people, that'd be just fine. Go over there, and maybe they need feminism, but we certainly do not need feminism here. We've gone as far as we possibly can with it here, okay? Okay? dresses and revealing clothes deserves to be raped. Because in Saudi Arabia, women still can't vote or drive. And then feminists, because in every corner of the world, every day, women's bodies are used as a battleground in wars that started by men. Rape, beaten, sold into slavery, mutilated. Yes, and we also ignore the wars that are started thanks to religion and um, basically disputes that are over things that are actually uh, stupid, but hey. Burned with acid, and sometimes because when I dare to get pissed off at injustice, I do another angry feminist who's on your period. <laughs> well, first of all, that's not just something that's used against feminists. That's used against anyone who's probably getting upset over something they don't like, or don't want to hear, or don't want to deal with. I've had this thrown at me. Now, mind you, I was being a reasonable person. But, of course, any time you say something, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, by the way. And I'm sure it's used towards both genders. But people do say, stop menstruating over my channel. And then, 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 stop having your period over it. 
Mostly because it's their way of just being like, hey, we don't like what you're saying, you're ruining the video, like you're whining, complaining, even though it's like, you got the open forum, why can't we do that? That's all. It's really all it is, it's someone just trying to silence your point of view. That's not a call for feminism, that's just someone who needs to fucking shut up himself, or herself. Or whoever it is, so yeah. Uh, I'm a feminist because of the reality is that there are people who would take these words more seriously. They're coming out of my mouth. Most Sorry, sweetie, I hate both of you equally. Male or female, if the message is the same, my opinion would probably be most likely the same. First of all, I'm a feminist because I believe in gender equality, and my eyes are open. So I do, so do I. And I happen to also be a men's rights activist. So, it's more of, sweetie, we're, that's a crux thing, not an actual, you have to be a feminist in order to have gender equality, or if you don't agree with it, you can't be for a gender equality thing, okay? Just correcting you on that. Or at least the other people who are watching my video, no, that's okay. I know it's over 30 minutes long, so, yeah, you don't like that, I apologize, but, you know. But my mind is active. I know we are not there yet. Thanks for supporting me here on Sex Plus Babes. I would like to know, are you a feminist? Tell me why or why not. No. And I'm stopping here, since it's almost over anyways. And I will definitely tell you, no, I'm not a feminist, and I say that. And this is Pandora the Eclectic telling you, all my fans, whether you are a feminist or not, but to keep it frosty and have a good Friday. Sorry, this video is so long.